Here are three under the radar AI stocks you probably haven't heard of, but you may want to consider adding to your watch list. All right, first on the list would be Vertiv Holdings. So Vertiv Holdings, looking at their website here, you can see they manufacture equipment for server farms and companies that still host data on-prem. So you can see like, for example, one of the products is liquid cooling options. They also have thermal management. You can see a picture down below of what some of these products look like. And then some of the industries they serve include broadcasting, entertainment, education, federal healthcare, and telecom. Um, but what's interesting is looking in ticker, the stock is actually on sale. I've never heard of this company. Um, so on sale stock that scores 56, which is pretty good. What's really impressive is that margin of safety at 80%. And right in the middle, you can see the 4M score has a 75 out of 100. And the 4M, if you guys don't already know, this is powered by OpenAI. You can kind of walk through the process with stocks. And what it does is it looks past the numbers. A good investor should always look past the numbers. It's good to start with the numbers, but you also wanna look at the business. So the 4Ms would be that margin of safety that really encompasses the ticker summary score and margin of safety. And the second M is that meaning, that's the business model, how scalable are the revenue streams. The third M would be the moat. How does the company stack up against other companies in the same sector and industry? And then that last M, that fourth M would be the management. That's a track record of the CEO. So a 75 out of 100, again, that's that's pretty good. You wanna to try to be 80 or higher, that's like a definitive, yes, this is a stock to buy. If it's between 60 and 79, you should have moderate confidence. You can still move forward if you know about the company. In this case, it's getting pretty close to 80. And then anything that's 59 or lower would be, yeah, you probably wanna avoid it. All right, so going down below, check this out. Five year returns, 396%. One year returns, 227%. That's outstanding. All right, and then looking at their financials, we're gonna go to yearly first and take a look. So the revenues are increasing a little bit, but then if we jump to the quarterly statement, this is where it's really important. So you can see here, the profitability is increasing quarter over quarter. That's exactly what we wanna see. And typically what you see with net income is very similar to that EPS. So looking here, very similar story. Those profits are increasing and that's what's driving that margin of safety, which is also driving a lot of institutional investors to invest in this company and drive that share price higher. All right, earnings calendar, let's take a quick look. You can see here, they continuously beat those estimates. I see they had a miss, looks like February of 2023, but then you can see a few more quarters where they beat the estimates. Overall, primarily beating those estimates, that gives institutions confidence to invest in this stock. So overall, Vertiv, maybe one to add to your watch list. Next on the list would be Cadence Design Systems. So what they do is they help with the design process and manufacturing process of a lot of different products, including semiconductor chips. In fact, looking at this video from CNBC, this is a CEO of of Cadence, he actually said almost any chip design in the world is done with Cadence software. So I was looking through a lot of their, their different software products. You can actually engineer like airplanes and simulate how aerodynamic they are, how they move through the air instead of like trying to build a plane and then testing it out in real life. You wanna, you wanna do things on a computer first. So this company helps with a lot of that and then they help with the prototyping as well, like kind of going to market. The idea is you wanna go, like if you're, you're a global company and you've got a new product you wanna launch, you wanna to go to market as fast as possible. You don't, you don't wanna like dabble with something new and take it to market, test it, then take it out of market and, and rework it. It's like you wanna get as much done on the computer first, prove it's technically sound, then manufacture it, you want to obviously the least amount of iterations possible and then go to market and start making money on that. So it's it's point A to Z as fast as possible. Well, Cadence essentially does that. So looking inside ticker, you can see this stock is a watch that score really high, 83 out of 100. The overall financials are looking really good. It's just that margin of safety is 1% right now. And I'll get to the reason why in a second we'll look at the financials tab. But in the dead center here, you can see that 4M score 79 out of 100, really strong. Going down below, look at this, five-year returns, almost 500%. 
Let's go to the one year. 57%. Outstanding. This stock is definitely beating the market. All right. So let's go to the financials tab. You can see here the profits on this company relatively flat. The net income and that EPS, very similar story, relatively flat. So that's why that margin of safety is not like the previous stock, Vertiv, where it's like 80%. Jump to that earnings calendar. We can see this stock has continuously beat the estimates. Look at this. Last one was October of 23, 4%, 3%. I'm scrolling down, scrolling down, down. Okay, let's keep going. How many rows? <laughs> okay, going back to 2008, April 2008, last time they missed by 5%. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. So there you go. There's a second stock to maybe consider adding to your watch list. Okay, the third stock on the list would be Synopsys. So what this company does is it helps manufacture semiconductor chips. So another company that deals in the semiconductor space. Semiconductors are in everything from phones to computers to microwaves, refrigerators, cars, this goes on. So if you're not a company like Nvidia or um, AMD that actually manufactures the chips, you know, you wanna go to a company like this that they're, they're touching that type of business model. They're either helping improve efficiencies, processes, they provide software in some way, shape or form. So the products here, for example, they have design products, verification products, 3D imaging, really important for those companies that manufacture semiconductor chips. So looking inside of Ticker, we can see the stock is another watch, scores 72 out of 100, Margin of safety, 1%. Again, we'll jump over to the financials in a second, but look at this, 86 out of 100 with that 4M. That shows really high confidence to maybe consider buying this stock. Of course, this is not financial advice, but um, getting into 80 or higher is actually very hard with this 4M analysis tool. So nice work synopsis. All right, scrolling down, check this out. Five-year returns, 480%, one-year returns, 53%. Again, outstanding stock in this regard. All right, jumping to the financials tab. Nice consistent increase with those numbers. So the revenue, slow and steady wins the race. We're moving up and to the right. That net income looking pretty good. A slight increase. It could be a little higher. EPS will be very similar. We want to see those numbers jump up a little bit more. Then we're going to see that margin of safety increase by a lot more. All right, let's check out that earnings calendar. All right, same thing. We're, we're going back in time here. They are literally beating every estimate. I'm looking here at the full as like the confidence this gives to institutions is incredible. All right, going down, going down. Okay, last quarter looks like, looks like 2012. May of 2012 is the last miss they had at negative 3%. That's incredible. Great track record. Okay, there are three AI stocks you probably haven't heard of you may want to consider adding to your watch list. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like it, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to find some other strong stocks like the three in this video, I invite you to join Ticker for free.